Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you are all doing well. So, I am doing a challenge today that I've had written down on my video to-do list for probably two or three years. I mean, as always, I'm late on the trend. Essentially, this challenge is where you make three paintings of the same thing in different time limits. So for today's video, for example, I'll be making the same painting three times in eight hours, 80 minutes, and eight minutes. Initially, the plan was to make a 10-hour painting, a one-hour painting, and then a 10-minute painting. But honestly, the work that I made took me more around eight hours versus the 10 hours, so I just stuck with the eight hours. And my friend Ray actually made a video like this so I'll link hers down in the description below and the reason I'm doing this video now is because painting has been such a good outlet for me lately it's like the world has gone to I don't even know where I don't even know and that is why today I'm so excited to be partnering with a sponsored video with Box Lunch and Disney a lot of you may know that I'm a massive fan of Box Lunch they have a bunch of nerdy stuff there but they also have tons and tons of Disney merchandise like this t-shirt. They have this cool food collection at the moment. Look at this slow cooker. Mickey pineapples and Mickey lemons. It's adorable. And this is all part of the Healthy Living campaign. I've been asked to create a Disney painting that I will then be giving away to one of you. So stay tuned if you want to enter to win, I'll let you know later on. Now Disney is committed to making healthier generations by making healthy living fun and simple. Whether that's being physically active, eating well, forming healthy habits, or keeping your mind mentally healthy. For me, art is huge in forming a healthy habit. And in 2015, which was the worst year of my life, and I know 2020 is one is, is up there, and art was honestly the only way that I really got through that year like I did. It was the only thing that really brought me joy and helped to de-stress me. And you know, this year has been so difficult on everyone. That's why I always say artwork is so good to get into to keep your mind busy. And sometimes you just need to form a healthy habit like making artwork, like just throwing paint around, just make a habit of keeping yourself busy. You know, art is a form of therapy. It always has been. It's clinically proven to truly benefit you and help your well-being. So if you'd like to learn a little bit more about healthy living, check out disney.com slash be your best. And if you'd like to check out the amazing box lunch merch, like my t-shirt or like my cute little watermelon Mickey pin. This is like the cutest thing in the world. Or this cute little bag and purse with all the Mickey stuff on it. Check out boxlunch.com. Now, if you'd like to win this piece of artwork, all you need to do is make sure you subscribe to me. Bonus if you follow me on Instagram too. Give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments Comments down below what healthy habits you have formed this year to help you through. I'll pick a winner in my next video, which is next Wednesday. Good luck to everyone who entered, and thank you so much once again to Box Lunch and Disney for sponsoring today's video. Here we go. I think it's about time we get started with the challenge, and let's get started. So I realized before starting this that despite my collection of probably 5,000 canvases, I did not have one just the right size and quality for what I wanted. I wanted a decent sized quality canvas, regular kind of medium sized, and the only one I basically had for that was this particular one. It is a black canvas, and I know it's a waste, but I basically just painted over it with white gesso to make it a white canvas because I needed a white base to create that pale blue background that I was going for. And I decided to do a scene from Frozen since now it is officially Christmas time and I know that it is very very early in November but you know what I don't care if you disagree with me because it's 100% Christmas at this point. So I started off with a quick sketch and I actually found two really cool movie posters that I think were based in France at the time and basically one was Anna looking at the ice castle and the other one was of Elsa looking over um, Arndale and someone had actually photoshopped these two together and I just thought it looked really cool and it would be a fun idea to just kind of draw out similar to this particular poster but actually kind of change up the mountain a little bit as well as the castle and placement of some things so I just kind of erased everything because I buggered it up the first time so as you can see the background took me approximately 33 minutes I took my time with it and I did spend another half an hour on it later on in the video but for now 33 minutes done. Now in general my art tends to take around two to two and a half hours kind of per video. My art style in what I really love to make usually lends itself to more full-blown paintings that take hours and hours and it's not really something you can do in literally two hours. We're YouTube artists not gallery artists. First and foremost we're basically content creators and I spend triple if not quadruple the time editing a video than I do actually making the art in the video. However today I decided to spend eight hours painting this piece and I, I it's not quite as long as I could potentially spend making it perfect because I could spend probably 50 plus hours on it if I wanted to but I never spend eight hours on a piece anymore. So basically what I can do in eight hours versus 80 minutes which is closer to the time I actually do spend on my paintings in my videos. Here's a fancy side camera angle change. I will say, trying to sit still for eight hours solid would have been pretty impossible for me because 2020 has caused me to develop 
a snacking problem where I feel the need to go and get something snacky every couple of hours. So I basically did this over the span of a couple of days to give myself a bit of a break. Also, I'm getting old, so I get a good old backache there in my lower back if I sit for too long in one place. And then, of course, I finish my painting and then I go and then sit and edit on the couch or on my bed and do nothing other than sit. As an introvert, I never thought I'd say this, but I want to go outside because uh, I can't obviously leave the house. So I'm thinking of getting myself one of these little bike desk things. It looks stupid, but I think it's a smart idea. I feel like acrylics are holding me back a little bit. I do love them, but I almost feel like I need to get into oils because I can get more of a seamless edge with that and blend better with that. That being said, I over blended the heck out of one of my oil paintings that I did two years ago. In fact, it was the only oil painting I ever did. And it kind of looked like this. I'm definitely no Bob Ross, but I think that the three to five mountains I've painted previously has definitely given me a slighter upper hand in mountain painting. Did I repaint the peaks of the mountains about 50 times because I doubted my ability to correctly make a mountain that wasn't solidly based from a reference? Yes. Yes, I did. Did I get there eventually? Yes, I, I did. Did I enjoy it? No, not really. Painting snow with a brush that definitely is way too big was not easy. It's much simpler doing it the way Bob Ross does it, you know, with the oils and the palette knife where it just scrapes nicely. But you can't do that with acrylic, so I did my best. I also ruined my last tiny paintbrush a few weeks ago, so all my brushes were a little bit too chunky. Two hours in now, making some progress, but a long way to go. I think I need to get myself an easel because the painting of the ice castle was a task and a half. I kept painting it on the P, which is the British way of saying it was wonky because the canvas was on a flat table and I'm looking at it from obviously not flat on the table. That being said, I fixed it and I really enjoyed painting it. I kind of simplified it a lot more than obviously it looked in a 3D animated movie and I wanted to make it more of my style. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned this out. This was actually my first time painting proper snow too with acrylic paints, which I really, really enjoyed because I, I'm absolutely a warm weather person and I hate snow except at Christmas. I used to live somewhere where we get snow sometimes in May. Yeah, May, absolutely appalling. I honestly felt like writing a formal complaint to mother nature. Like, what is this? This is not good. This is not normal. That is wonky. Oh well. Excuse the frizzy hair. Uh, it's gradually just getting worse progressively. I'm now at almost five hours. Honestly, it probably doesn't look that different to you to how it looked when I was like three hours in, but I've done a lot of like close up finer details that I would normally skip out on most of my pieces for videos since they're not like up close and seen. This is it. It's nice to really spend more time on specific details versus what I normally have to do just to get like the video out. I then decided to work a little bit on Elsa and it was hard with my giant thick paintbrush because she was very small and had these tiny little dainty arms and fingers. So I did my best again with this fat paintbrush that I've got. Her cape is also somewhat see-through, which isn't really easy to translate with acrylic paint because obviously paint is not transparent. So I did my best to make it appear like how you would see the snow through her gown um, by alternating the colors a little bit and then putting a line where the snow would be. And I think the snowflake was my favorite part. I used a mixture of white and pale blue and then a bunch of little dots over it to create a more magical feel. Lastly, I added some different shades of hues of blue and green and copper to the sky to give it a more northern lights effect. And here we are, eight hours in, and this is how it looks. I'm super happy with this. And I, again, could have spent many, many more hours on it. Um, it was very nice spending something a little bit longer on it for once in a video. But obviously I am still working on a schedule here. So I stuck with the eight hours versus the 10 or longer. So let's get started now with our 80 minute painting. Now for this one, I used my super, super cheap canvases since these paintings were not gonna be the quality that the other one was. So I didn't really mind wasting this kind of canvas. And this one was definitely easier in the sense that I had literally already made this painting. And I was basically just completely copying what I'd already painted because that one was a lot of trial and error, how I wanted the mountains to look. Um, experimenting a little bit and then vice versa. Unless you paint yourself, it's probably easy to assume that one and a half hours painting something will make a complete painting and it'll be great and fully done. It never does, it never does. One and a half hours of making something is just, it's no time at all and it passes very quickly. And the issue I had with this one was that I kept resting my arm on the canvas because I didn't have time to wait for parts to dry, so. 
I kept ripping the paint off the canvas because it kept sticking to my arm. And I think I spent more time going over and fixing what my arm had ruined than actually painting more on the canvas. The mountains also look a bit weirdly shaped in this one. I'm not really sure why. I'm 40 minutes in, as you can see, it needs a lot more work. I've done a good like portion of the base layer, <laughs> um, but I'm only halfway done and I definitely need a lot more work on this. But unfortunately, I've only got 80 minutes and I'm 40 minutes in, so this is it. This is the quick paint so far. Wish me luck that I can get more done over the next 40 minutes because it goes really fast. As you can imagine, there was a lot of panic because I was watching the time gradually tick upwards and I was getting closer and closer to my 80 minutes and there was just so much that I needed to do. I am not someone that tends to just do these quick like I don't know, some people can do these lovely like simple pieces of artwork in like 20 minutes and it looks classy. I do a 20 minute simple piece and it looks like a five year old did it. So I don't know if that's just something I need to work on, but I just like doing these full blown paintings and I have to spend probably a minimum of five hours on a piece of artwork. So we've got our lovely um, kind of bent forward looking mountains here. I didn't have much opportunity to fix them. Like on the eight hour painting, if I'd messed this up, I would have obviously gone back and fixed it. But as you can see, I added a bit too much yellow and green, but I think it kind of worked in a weird way. I'm not sure if it did, uh, but I didn't have the time to to fix it. So again, nice yellowy green snow. Everyone loves yellow snow. That's definitely important to add to the painting. But yeah, this is basically how this one turned out. The ice castle was super, very, 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 very simple, but it actually doesn't look that bad up close. Like it doesn't look good or as good as the eight hour one, but it was kind of simple and I think it worked that way. And overall for an 80 minute piece, I feel like this doesn't look that bad. I think it looks pretty decent enough for an hour and a half. It's the best I probably could have done. Like if I tried doing it again, there isn't much else I'd do differently, honestly, except try not to keep pulling the paint off of the canvas. But yeah, this is how this one turned out. I'm pretty happy with that one for an hour and a half. Well, not even an hour and a half. I think it turned out all right. Next up, we are gonna start our eight minute painting. This one was absolutely terrifying to me because I've never done an eight, eight minute painting before. And it was essentially me with a countdown clock panicking. Paint all up my arm, I, everything blended. That was, that was the issue, it was the blend. It was almost like I was working with oil paints all at once because acrylics dry fast but not this fast. They basically just blended every color into the last one because I was not leaving any time for any of it to dry. So it's just one big smush of paint. Um, I got more done than I thought I would, to be fair. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's like, it, it's this. Eight minutes is not enough, clearly, but this is just a comparison of what it can look like if you only have eight minutes to spare. So I really enjoyed this whole project. It really, really helped me out, especially over the last few days. They've, it's been a tough few days, you know, with all this stuff going on in the world. And this is what I mean when I say that art needs to be, you know, done to keep your mind healthy, keep your mind busy. I'm just really glad that Box Lunch did this Mickey and Friends Healthy Living campaign alongside Disney, because honestly, I just think that it's such a great idea to really just make people aware that, you know, your body, your mind, everything about you, you need to do your best to try and keep yourself active, keep yourself healthy. And I think now more than ever, it's just very, very important. So once again, thank you so much to Box Lunch and Disney for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much to you all for watching this video. This is how each painting turned out. What do you think? I'd love to hear your opinions on each one. Uh, but for now, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to enter to win the eight hour painting if you, if you liked it enough. And yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Bye.